Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here at LaFontaine Classic Cars. We're going to be going through a very special 69 428 Cobra Jet Mustang. This is an R-Code car. It has been with the previous owner for over 20 years. He got it out of Idaho, where it was originally born. It is fully restored. One of the nicest I've seen. Tune in with us. Come along. We're going to give you the grand tour of the 69 Mustang. All right, so starting on this car right up front. This is finished in candy apple red. We've got the four headlights, our highs and our lows. We've got a splitter on the front, a lovely chrome bumper. Um, the level of detail on this car is really, really well done. Um, all of our bright work is, you know, finished to a, a high polish. I don't see any dents. I don't see anything I don't like. I, in fact, don't find any rock chips on the front of this car. It is a um, definitely been babied. It's been in good hands. We are very proud to be caretakers of it. And uh, certainly, certainly if this has been one on the bucket list or uh, an old flame you're looking to have back in your life, this is a strong, strong contender. Got these hood pins on here, which are damn cool. The hood lifts up, the shaker stays right there. You see the Cobra Jet lettering on the side of that, so everybody knows what we're packing under here. Uh, this is a dated correct 428 in here. Um, literally all of these stampings, the chalk markings, the stickers on the firewall, everything. As I've said before, I'm turning into a broken record. It was restored to factory specs. We even have a vacuum pump on here. Um, Back in the day, that was one of the things you wanted to yank off immediately and get all the power and forget about emissions. So to have that on here and be original part is really insane and hard to find. So I'm glad we have that. You notice we have all the correct clamps everywhere, again with the stickers, even the uh, auto light lid on that battery there. It's very sharp. All the fasteners holding those fenders on. Um, the finish on those looks very good. They did not cut any corners. This car falls short nowhere that I can find. Boy. And you notice, this was a, a hot rod. This was kind of a race car. You could drive it to work and race it on the weekends. Everyone wanted all the power they could get. So to still have, like I mentioned, the vacuum pump, an option like power steering, power disc brakes, you weren't worried about that when you were specking these out. So the fact that this car was loaded up the way that it is, takes it up just another notch there. We'll set this hood down. There is another click left in the latch, but we'll keep moving down the side of this car. These Magnum 500 wheels, the BFG radials, that reflective Mach 1 stripe. This car makes a statement any which way you look at it. Um, we could spend probably an hour talking about this car, but we'll try to keep it concise, get you hooked, get you a good feel of the car. The fit and finish on all these body panels, I think would be a 10. The beauty work, the bright work, the glass, um, all of that is a very high level. Damn close to a 10, if not a 10. Um, the polish on it, the clarity, it's all there. Around this car too, we have all sorts of new rubber and the felt on the windows, the door seals, trunk seal, the list goes on. You see that louvered glass on the sports roof. That is a nice option to have. And we come around to the back of this car here. We've got a spoiler in the front and we've got a nice big one in the rear too, finished in a satin. 
complementing that satin graphic on the hood. A very trick little gas cap here. Page out of uh, into the aerospace industry. Quickly adapted uh, for motorsports. Key slips into the trunk, no issues. Um, this looks like a brand new car back here. We've got our spare in here, our space saving spare. There is decal up on the underside of the deck lid here showing you how that operates, how it goes back together. And you notice this has the jack and a fire extinguisher, sorry, the tire inflator. It resembles a fire extinguisher, a red compressed cylinder that is under the tire there. That is a very, very large ticket item when it comes to knickknacks with your 69 Mach 1 Cobra Jet. Show you this closing up. Tighten right, tail light lenses, the quad tips, that lower valence, everything is knockout in the back. The fitment of that bumper, front to back, top to bottom, however you wanna twist it. They took the time and dialed that in very, very nicely. Um, coming around, get our impression of the passenger side. I like the way the door fits. I don't see any blemishes, any scratches. The moldings fit on damn perfectly. This fitment is exquisite. Um, that graphic has no rippling, no bubbling, no cracking. A very, very nice job. Now we'll give you guys a quick little peek in the interior. All right, we're gonna hop into the interior here. You notice all our interior lights come on. We open the door in the front and the back of this car. And this interior is practically brand new. The seats have been recovered, carpets new, steering wheel restored, dash pad new. Everything, um, everything that wasn't perfect has been replaced and made to look like new or restored. And they did a very, very nice job. The attention to detail does not fall in any cavity, any crevice I can find. Got a lot of neat stuff here. The Hearst shifter going, um, going through, we have all sorts of wood accents, the black with the red insert in the carpet. This is a fun car. This would be exciting to get into every time and especially exciting to see something like this on the showroom floor back in the day. Um, I did notice we still have the date coated belts up here. We have our seat belt buckle holders. We don't see that in new cars today. So if you didn't want to bother with them, you had a place to put them, keep them out of the way. Um, I'll tilt this seat forward here. We've got a, a very nice seat in the back. All our buckles and uh, latches are present and in spectacular shape like everything else here. Headliner, fitment of all these panels can get a little bit tricky as sometimes with sun they shrink up. These don't seem to have that issue at all. It looks very sharp. And guys, with this car is a deluxe Marty report. And on that, it breaks down what this car is, how it was ordered. And it was ordered in this candy apple red with the black buckets, um, the Hearst shifter, this Cobra Jet option. We're gonna include a picture of that um, in our listings. You can check it out there. I'm gonna get you a quick clip of this thing starting it up and then we'll wrap things up. Here we go. Pop this thing out of the high idle. Runner. You 
take a step back, it has a very menacing look from the front with the lights on. And now we have the lights on the dash are illuminated as well. Hey, thank you guys for taking the time with us today. If you wanna know anything more, you think you might wanna own this car, how can we buy it, how can we ship it? Whatever it would be, we got lots to offer and a lot more details to share with you. Um, reach out, our number is 248-714-2110. Also guys, I wanna let you know, that I'm gonna put a link to the listing where we have all our pictures of the underbody, a full write-up with all the breakdown of every number on this car, all the good nitty gritty. A link to that listing is going to be right in the bottom of this video. We'll put it down in the description um, along with our number, our email. Hit us on the socials. Thank you guys again for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. My name is Mackenzie, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Toodaloo.